Hello guys, I promised you strategies, and that's what I'm going to give you. I'm Major Smurf, and this is the first strategy, spamming the small stuff. So, let's get into this game, and I'll explain a bit more as we go along. Now, spamming the small stuff. This is a strategy um, where you get infantry. It's basically, all you focus on is infantry. It's not very effective, but it can save you, and it is very quick and cheap. Is a very cheap strategy. Um, I've got other strategies lined up after this one, but hopefully I should be able to... I don't know how long this game is going to take, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but, you know, I just want to show you... I might, you know, cut parts out and stuff like that, but hopefully I'll record most of this as a game, and then continue to talk about the strategy about why it would be effective. Now, the first thing you want to do is... for this strategy, is get an ore refinery. Of course, if you're, if you're online... Uh, get a barracks first. Be because this is against AI, they're unlikely to attack. Now, because you're only spamming infantry, your base will be vulnerable, so you also have to build up defenses at the same time. Look, as you can see, he he's fucking kicking my ass. But, get barracks, and then start getting your troops. Now, depending on what... Of course, because I'm... Uh, what the nigga? Um, you would think that I'm fairer at uh, things than I am. But, as you can see, look, I've got a lot more stuff. Now, I would also say to get riflemen first and make sure that you protect your base because engineers can capture your base. Grenaders are good and rocket soldiers are good. So if you get all of this stuff, and what I would say is don't put all your troops in one place. Maybe once you... You can have a rally point to one place, but then start scouring your uh, troops out. Now, next thing to do is to get a uh, yes to get a war factory so that you can get Teslas to protect your base from uh, things and then once you've got a war factory you can continue to get uh, things oh wow got the crate it's my it's my asshole get away from it um, crates are good um, if you can get hold of crates, that would also be good. Um, but uh, this strategy probably isn't very effective. I haven't tried it online because stuff like that. Oh, oh, I've got power bombs. A barrage drops to a load of parachuted bombs on your target. Woo! So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm getting up my troops, I'm building them up, and then hopefully I shall be able to uh, to fuck them up. Now, as I said, this strategy hasn't really been tested online. You can test it out yourself online, but I doubt that's very effective. But it's just one strategy that you could try if you're low on cash or stuff like that. Or you just want to... Because, basically, infantry, because there's so many of them. Now, things that are wrong with this strategy, let's go into that. Um, V2s will destroy your infantry very quickly. So if they've got a lot of V2s, I would not recommend using this strategy. I would um, also not recommend the strategy if they're spamming demo trucks. Demo trucks are very, very, very destructive. And I mean, damn, bitch, they will fuck you up. Now, I need to continue getting some uh, troops together. So, let's get, let's get a couple of these, a couple of these. Now, what I said I was going to do is I was going to get this, but obviously I need to increase my power. So let's get this. And then hopefully when this is Yeah, give me some money. Thank you. Right, so get another power supply. But as you can see, even the AI is uh spamming infantry at the minute. I don't know what he's doing, but I think he's off on a he's off on a manhunt. Manhunt! Now, this map is called Ares, if you want to test out this uh, strategy yourself. Now, as you can see, he's also building up uh, stuff. Let's... Now, of course, I need to get my money together and I need more power. So, to get more power, I need to get a radar done. I would recommend you still build up all your stuff in case the strategy fails. Um, but, you know, shit happens. Hopefully, I can get enough money together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this thing up here. I'm going to send my troops over here. Now as you can see, rocket troopers are very slow compared to the rest. 
So I don't know what is happening down here. Some sort of fighting is happening. See, th this strategy could be very effective. It helped me out on one of the games that I won. Um, I don't win many games. But um, this one game that I did win, uh, my friend built up tanks and I built up infantry. Now that's a very effective thing to do. If you've got a friend, you could get all the infantry to protect yourself, and then he could be getting all the tanks and the powerful stuff that you need to punch through. Which is effective. Now, I'm not really sure. I think this AI is just a spamming troops thing. Um, this this AI, at least. Um, I'm not sure about the others. But once I get this, I should be able to get some advanced uh, power domes. And then get Tesla Pools. Tesla Pools are great, they're the uh, most effective um, things on the battlefield. And as you can see, there is a lot of fighting going on. Now, if they're spamming infantry, um, to counteract it, I said use. Uh, you use a uh, lot of dibbity dobbity dibbity dobbities. So, look, if I get this, then I should be able to see the enemies. Oh no, maybe not. Oh yeah, we got radar dome works differently. Yeah, on the, um,. Normal version, the radar dome just shows you everything, but now it only shows you what you've uh, what you've done. So now what I'm going to do is I, I don't, yeah. So if I get so I need to get some more power together. Um, get myself another ore truck. Just getting myself another ore truck would be very, very, very good. And now then, I'm going to get myself a Tesla coil. Just to help protect the base whilst my infantry is off, pounding some ass. Now, if I look over here, you see that they, they, they've pushed them back. This map is very long, I should have probably chose a smaller map. But, you know, shit happens. Now, snipers are pretty good. But you could you could probably also get this guy. Now this guy's grey. Um, he's not very good against aircraft, but you know, shock troopers are also very good if you can afford them. Free trucks. Now I might also need to. Right here we go. There's a tears for you. Now infantry is not very effective against you know they die very quickly to uh to look, if you can look at strong versus tanks. Strong versus infantry, and obviously, if they've only built some sites, then you know, they're a bit stupid. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can effectively attack them. Um, that's going to end well. But let's move my troops all the way over there. And also, because this is a C map, you might also want you, you might want to protect. But I don't think the AI will build ships because they've not been programmed to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a tech center to get some of the more advanced infantry like the... oh wait, no I need to run down for that. So I'll put one of them. Uh, let's get these troops moving. Uh, he's building flat. Yeah, flat across. So I think he's the subject as well. Yeah. So now if I get this, then... Stick it just there. Now, where's my tech center? There it is. Hello, techie. So, as you can see, that I haven't really shown how effective this strategy is, but hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, spamming the small stuff can be very effective. Um, but it can also be, it's not very good against some stuff, it won't be very good against, if they're spamming stuff like demo tricks and stuff, I would not recommend this. I'd recommend, you know, spam. If someone's spamming demo tricks, you might want to spam demo tricks back, because that's just efficient. Now, uh, as you can see, yeah, as you can see, it's not very effective, but it is destroying tanks very quickly. Now I think there's a V2 round here. Now I, I lost quite a few troops, but the good thing about infantry is that you can build them back so quickly. 
So if I just got like, like there are only a hundred each, so I can build twenty-three, whereas someone else would not be able to build anything. Right. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to have to move my base uh, somewhere else because I'm not getting the resources. Moving your base is a good strategy um, for a map. Uh, so if there's something with a lot of resources, then allies can build around your base, which is very effective. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build back up my troops. Did the uh did the Google create the Alright. And let's continue moving my uh Oh there's a bomb. Uh but th this probably isn't, you know, the greatest strategy. But um to be honest, um as you can see, yeah, these are crystals. Um, they're the ones I was talking about in the tutorial. But now I need to find where some uh, his resources. So let's get myself set up just here. That is very close to enemies. So I'm just gonna put myself. Now, of course, if your base goes, you can't build anything. Um, so it's all it's always best to uh uh shit I need power. Yeah, quick power plant. So I can build some uh get two of them. And just uh quickly No I can I feel no not yet. The second one I should be able to afford a Tesla coil. Which will protect me. Yes, I don't care. Right, let's get this. Oh, that plane is freaking out. So, let's get these troops up here. See, the good thing about infantry is that they are slow, but they can be very effective at taking out stuff. If, if an enemy isn't paying attention, you can. What is that thing doing? I don't know. But I do have power bronze. Just there. Yeah. This is what I was afraid of. But say hello to pay. What? Yeah. So this probably wasn't a very effective strategy, but it is one strategy you can attempt to use. Now, oh, power bombs! Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat. So, basically, this strategy, I'm not, I wasn't going to say that all strategies were effective, um, but this is one strategy you could try, you know, it might be effective against people who are not, you know, focusing on uh, anti infantry. But, I think that's all I'm going to show you. This strategy wasn't very effective, but hopefully I've described what you can do and stuff like that. Uh, also, it's probably getting a hope that the um, AI isn't very smart at the minute because it's still uh, being constructed. So that's that's one strategy you could try if you are uh, you concerned, if, or if you want to try it out. I doubt it's very effective online, but you know you could always try to see how it works. So I'm Major Smurf. Hopefully that's one strategy you could try, and hopefully you uh, you enjoy enjoy the rest of this series. Hello guys, I uh, I got down my pod. <clears throat> but um, I, I I just recently gave you a strategy called spamming the small stuff. Uh, the description for this one is only get infantry. Um, so let's go over the pros and cons quickly. Just to give you an overview of what I was talking about in case you missed anything or stuff like that. So, pros. It's cheap and it's very quick. You can easily spam a lot of troops very quickly and be able to protect your base in the sticky situations. Now, there's also cons. Infantry dies easily. Um, they can eat. They, and the other one is that V2 and artillery will literally destroy anything in massive groups. 
and demo trucks. I forgot to put demo trucks in there, but I talked about that in the video. But, so, for this strategy, I'm going to give it a, a 6 out of 10. It's not very, it's got a couple of pros, but it's, it's cons do weigh it down a bit. I would, I'd probably say not do this online. You can easily try against AI, you know, easy AI, stuff like that. See if it works. Or you can try it online, you know, see if it works. Um, infantry is many things. It's probably, it's probably better to do it as the, uh, the Russians compared to the AIs. Um, and stuff like that. So, that's a quickly, that's a quick overview. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. And hopefully I'll be bringing you more strategies as it comes along. I'll also be talking to friends, seeing if I can find out new strategies and see what they say is effective against what. Um, so, I'm Major Smurf. Hope you, uh, hope you have a good time. And hopefully I am not talking to bollocks. So, See you next time on Open Raw Strategies. Goodbye.